Vanessa. Yes, darling. This is just 5,000. I think I said I wanted 7,500. Baby, I still have to cook up a good story to justify my order for this money. But you're still not satisfied with my efforts. Not that I'm not appreciative of what you've been doing. But you see, I already have my plans with this money in mind. have to readjust your plan to fit in with this money. I cannot afford any more than that for now. Association for the possible takeover of the company. I see. And how did the negotiations go? Mm, yes, these are the early days of the discussion. Nothing concrete yet. But I hope to seal that chapter soon. I see. As you are invariably going to close this chapter too.
fresh, 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 fresh. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Um, I think I overslept. The chairman will be in the office within the hour. But it's not the last Monday of the month for the board meeting. Oh, so you've not heard? Heard what? He's divorcing the wife, Vanessa. Another divorce? I think Mr. Barting has a magnet that only attracts bad women. Yes. Well, that seems to be the case, man. I get you now, I get you. Yes, but... Uh, I, 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 that serious, but it could have been. She took a hard knock on the pelvic girdle and the impact sent some sharp waves down her knee. But don't worry, the fissure is attending to her right now. Oh, excuse me. Cool. Hello? Yeah, Fred. Yeah, I'm at the hospital. No, 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 I'm fine. I accidentally knocked a young lady and she's receiving treatment here. Yeah, I should be at the office soon. Okay, thank you. Office precious. Like I said, she would be all right. You can go back to your office and then come back and see her later. Doctor, are you sure? Yes, there's nothing you can do for her now. She's in good hands. Just leave your telephone number with the receptionist and then we'll call you when anything comes up. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. So you need to work with these speakers. Yeah, call Mr. Akuto. Let me call to my office. Settled me. I need you to fax this thing to Mr. Jean Pierre by 4 p.m. Please, I'm through with them. Do you have any messages for me? Yes, I'm through with the quality control records and I'll bring them to your office as soon as I finish typing some documents here. Okay, thank you very much. Can you give me Mr. Dan's number, please? I'll get it for you right away. Representing Mrs. Boatin. I'm representing Mrs. Vanessa Boatin. If you like, former Mrs. Boatin. The divorce has been finalized? Well, let me just tell you before he breaks the news to you in a couple of minutes. A settlement was agreed upon, and um, I mean, without any argument, and the dotted line was signed duly. So, Mr. James Boatin is officially divorced. Oh, really? You. You two know each other before? We've met under rather unfortunate circumstances. He's the man that was involved in the accident I had this morning. Young lady, I'm so sorry I had to rush to the office, okay? But I was going to come to see you after I left the office, okay? Well, it's not necessary anymore. As you can see, I'm fine. But the doctor said he had a pelvic fracture or something like that? Well, I'm fine. Well, if Nikki says she's fine, she's really fine. Nikki? Yeah. Nikki happens to be my case assistant and uh, a lawyer trainee, as you say. You can call her the walking encyclopedia. Nikki, you meet uh, Harry. Uh, it's an old time friend. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Well, <sighs> nice to meet you, Nikki. And I'm so sorry about what happened this morning, okay? It's okay. Bottom line is that you stopped to take me to the hospital. Most people wouldn't do that. Kudos. Anyway, I have to rush out. Look, we have a okay. lot of catching up to do, so uh, definitely. You still have my number, eh? I still have your number. I'll okay, give you a call. Okay. All right, no problem. Harry, all right. You take care. Okay, Nikki. Nikki, let's go. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Anything at all in the office can wait. But what I have to tell you now, can't. What is it? In light of the recent development, the accident you had because you've been working at that stupid law firm. Mom, please, let's not go there because I know where this conversation is heading. All I'm asking is for you to work with a family business, not depriving you of your civil rights, but put your skills to bettering the family business. That's all. Mom, I said no then, and I am saying no now. You sent me to study law, and I intend to practice my profession, even if it's for some years, okay? At least the experience can come in handy one day. Or rather, you gain experience working with me. Mom, I am sorry to burst your bubble, but I won't work with the family business. Oh. You can hire Shotinga for some kind of industrial attachment at your place, okay? I heard that. Mom? Yes, darling. Breakfast is ready. Okay. Should you help me with the assignment again, big sis? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Shotingo. I slept off. That does it. Mom, could you please tell Miss Universe here to stop calling me Shorty? Because frankly speaking, she is walking on thin ice. Oh my god. Whoa, temper. But girlfriend, you don't have enough body mass to contain this explosion. So chill out. Mom! Please, stop it. Go outside the door, someone's there. Hurry up. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself, taunting your kid sister like that. What do you want? Oh, what an attitude. Excuse me, what did you say? Nothing. Look, mister, I don't have time for 20 questions. What the hell are you doing for the my dog? I'm here to see Miss Nikki Kwate. And who is looking for her? Henry. Henry Cranting. Henry! So you are the bozo who ran over my sister with his car, aren't you? Tell me something. How on earth were you issued a driving license in the first place? Alicia, who's at the door? Nobody. Come on, get lost. I'm so sorry I'm for my sister's email. No, 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 it's okay. Um, <clears throat> I just came here to give you these. And what's that? Peace offering. Peace offering. I don't remember being on a war path with you. I know, but um, I just wanted to make it up to you for what happened the last time. Mm. And you decided to go on a shopping spree. Henry, um, I really don't mean to be a killjoy, but you've done enough already. Please. I can't return these things. Okay, please. Could you just take it? And please, don't go killing Philip. He had nothing to do with this, all right? Then who did? I guess when the heart is willing, it has a thousand ways. I was wondering if we could have dinner, like, let's say, over the weekend, maybe like Saturday night. Henry Granting, you are moving too fast, and I don't like it. Well, I guess that is because the heart is moving very, very fast. <laughs> well, cozy atmosphere, good food, expensive wine, and a good evening. If I didn't know you any better, I'll say you're trying to impress me. Well, am I succeeding? After a rocky start, I'll say you're doing pretty well. <laughs> well, that's impressive coming from a woman of few words. Henry, 
Listen, I don't mean to sound like a psycho, okay? But if hitting you with my car means getting to see your pretty face again, and actually spending time with you, I mean, having dinner with you, then trust me, I'd love to hit you over and over again. In fact, I'd love to run you down. Okay, you are officially branded a psycho. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> to a memorable evening. To a woman that brightens everything around me. <laughs> to us. To us. needed to double check the result and the result of the ultrasound shows that you are three and a half months pregnant you so don't mean it pregnant <sighs> oh my god I must call my husband at once you do that then thank you God you're awesome You go to the pharmacy, let me give you the drugs. I'll do just that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I guess um, I'll come here from time to time. Oh, you do so. All right. God bless you. You're God bless you once God again. Wow. Yes, hello? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Yes, yes. Where are you right now? Spin text? I'll, I'll be there um, in like 30 minutes. I have a very, very big surprise for you. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, give me like uh, 30 minutes. Yes, I'll be with you in 30 minutes, okay? Bye.
glad you see it. Baby, this house is beautiful. Oh, God. Who owns it? I wish I had something like this. Well, um... <coughs> Barring any unforeseen circumstances, we will be moving into this house in two days. No way, you don't mean it. Yes way. Oh, baby! You're the most love any woman can ask for. Oh. Well, you also said you have a surprise for me. What is it? Oh, yeah. Well, I went to the hospital. <clears throat> and? And the doctor said I am three months pregnant. No way. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, this is the best news ever. And he's blessed me with such a wonderful work. And he's blessed me with such a beautiful home. And I'm about to be a father. Mm. Okay, love that. Hey, Kev! <laughs> What's up? Honey, this is Kev. Kev is an old schoolmate of mine. He's actually the managing director of the bank that facilitated the purchase of this house. Come on, Henry. I've been doing this for people that don't even have personal relationship with me. To me, it's just an honor. Mickey, I hope you like your new house. <laughs> yes, it's really nice. <laughs> it's just a small way of saying I'm sorry for not attending your wedding. <laughs> and for this beautiful house, your apologies accepted a hundred folks. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Henry, these are the documents. And oh, okay, okay. There's a true documentation oh. that proves ownership of the house. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Kev, Kev. Henry, more problem. Nice one. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nikki. All right. Take very good care of Take yourself. care, too. And enjoy your new home. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Baby, how much did you pay for this house? <clears throat> um, 80,000 Ghana cities. Relax, baby. I just got a mortgage, okay? Mortgage, I pay a percentage, like 20% of it, and then the rest is spread over 10 years for me to pay monthly installments. That is why Kev is here. He got me the mortgage, okay? So every month, I just pay like five or 600 CDs. That's it. Come on, it's not going to affect my salary in any way. Come on, please. Come on, come on, come on. It's a mortgage, baby. Good, good. You paid 80,000 grand for this? Okay. Are you still thinking about the loan? Shouldn't I? 64,000 Ghana cities is a lot of money. And if the mode of payment is anything to think about, that means a large part of your money, I mean your monthly salary is going to go into paying the loan. Add it with the arrival of our baby. Your wife will be worried. Listen, I took a lot of things into consideration before taking this loan, and I assure you, everything is under control. And besides, besides what? If Phil is coming out of the chairman's office is anything to hold on to, you are looking at the next general manager of Goldfield's group of companies. It's a lie. I'm telling you, that's the truth. That means better salary and more bonuses. So as you can see, everything is under control. Baby! I am so proud of you! I know. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. You know I love you, right? Baby, I love you more. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you come in? 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to have you all here and I'd like to use this opportunity to welcome you all to this very special meeting. As you are all aware, Goldfield Group of Companies is a decade old. A decade of hard work, perseverance, sacrifice and sheer determination. A decade in which every one of you put in his or her fair share towards the growth of this group. Of course, the fruit of that growth can be seen everywhere by everyone. So, on behalf of management, I'd like to use this opportunity to congratulate you on this very special occasion, which marks a milestone of positive growth of this group of companies. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with company policies, on such occasions, every year, we give promotions to deserving workers. And this year, we're going to do exactly that. But before we give out those promotions, I have this very special announcement to make regarding two important issues. You'll be glad to know that we have a very new face amongst us. I just have to say it. I want to use this opportunity to introduce to you all my new wife, Mrs. Lavida Boating. <laughs> and now, one very important post as far as this company is concerned, and as you are all aware of, is the position of managing director. That's that now we have a new managing director, and that happens to be my new wife, Mrs. Lavida Boating. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. I'll leave the other promotions to be announced by my wife. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. First, I would like to say my big congratulations to you on the 10th year anniversary of Goldfield Groups of Companies. And uh, I am looking forward to working with you to achieve even greater height in the next year to come. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. The junior staff promotion will be sent to your office to be conveyed to other junior staffs. There are three major promotions. They are as follows. For the position of um, new human resources manager, the position goes to Mr. Chris Baidu. Mm -hmm. And um, the next promotion for the position of new head of 
maintenance and repair. The new head is now Mr. Hossein Tavia. <laughs> And the last promotion for this year is for the position of the general manager of Goldfield Group of Companies. And that position has been given to none other than the head of quality control department, Mr. Fred Ochi Dako Kofi. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, one very special announcement. A name has been included in the group of board of directors. And that lucky name is Mr. Henry Carpenter. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening and um, I guess I will see you all at the year anniversary party tonight. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Um, thank you very much, sir, for giving me this position and reposing so much confidence in me. Oh. <laughs> you should be thanking my wife instead. It was her idea. Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Barting. Oh, please, call me La Vida. Thank you very much, Ma. Mr. Grante, your choice seems to go down well with all the entire staffs. And I'm sure that your dedication to service is noticed by all. And I'm sure you will keep on the dedication in future to come. And you will satisfy me and the company in the same way. Most definitely, I'll, I'll try my best. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, well, congratulations. Don't mm -hmm. be late for the party. Oh, I won't. Do. Thank you. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You know, because when I was studying back in school, I mean... How on earth did you pull that cool? One moment, you were supposed to be the next general manager. Now, you are a member of the board of directors. <laughs> no, no, come on, tell me, what happened? It was because of my hard work and my dedication to the job. That's why the managing director wanted to, you know, reward me. So, it's all. Each other's purpose. So that you can help each other exactly. doing assignments. And also, that's how we met when we became friends. Wow. Yeah. He's a wonderful person. I know. Yeah. yeah. He's a good fellow. Yeah. Very, very good fellow. Yeah. yeah. Your man. Yeah, he's good. Like, it's really good. Chai, chai, chai. See that beautiful girl plus that old man. I bet that be your boss, young man. For Deji. Or they will feel sake. Oh, that old man. If they give a warehouse full of Viagra self, you know, we feel satisfied that angel. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Henry. Uh, hi, oh. uh, Henry, I presume this is your wife. Yes. <laughs> oh, Henry, I hope you forgive us for not attending your wedding. Please forgive us. No we understand. We understand. It's okay. Uh, uh, this is my chairman, Mr. Barton. You, you know him? Of course. You do? <laughs> Where? Well, I was part of the legal team that represented your ex-wife divorce proceedings. Huh? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, I can help you. All right. Yeah. Got something to talk about. Okay. Honey, is that his wife? Well, you had him calling her darling, so I was in. Wow, this is like Father Abraham. Married to Hannah Montana. <laughs> Strange world. You could say that again. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.
Tell me how beautiful it's looking today in my dress. Hmm? Or is it because you got a new appointment? Oh, in the clouds. You looked like a goddess. And for a moment I stopped to, to think about the fact that... Oh no, wait. She's mine. <laughs> She's my wife. Yep, and you're my husband. <laughs> Honey, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mean to be nosy, but how can a girl as educated and beautiful as your managing director get married to an old man like your chairman? Nikki, I don't want to get involved in their business. And I suggest you do the same, okay? Okay. But then, her attitude and behavior towards you today was very inappropriate. You should restrict yourself to work. Sis, the house is simply exquisite. This is pure magic. Well, thank you. And it comes at a very, very high price, too. Come on, sis. Nothing is too much to pay for where you lay your head. Your husband understands that. Besides, your home is your sanctuary. You've always said that. I know. And his desire to give me the very best and make me happy 
It's one of the qualities that makes me love him more and more every passing single second. Hmm, Juliet, if you're trying to make me jealous, trust me, sis, you are on the right track. Good, because that's exactly <laughs> what I'm trying to do. I'll see you in the living room. Okay. Hurry up and don't forget the drink. Good. You know, I really support your husband's idea of buying this beautiful house, considering the huge rents these days. This is something else. Expressive, you forgot to say. Oh. <laughs> I know, Henry usually thinks far ahead. Mm. So, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Expressive. Thank you. Oh, Nikki, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you. Your favorite, Mom? Oh, thank you, Elisa. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Yeah. Yes. My favorite, you know. I know, that's why I got it for you. <laughs> Mommy, you remember the interior designer who um, designed her house? Yeah. I wanted her to um, design our guest rooms for us. Don't worry, I still have your number. Ma, I hope you're okay. Very yes. comfortable. Besides, with this two together, you can be sure of a lot of sparks. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, yeah? I think I have a problem with my phone. Every time I make a call, the phone automatically dials the next number in the phone book. Thereby, I'm some sort of a three-way conference call or something. Are you serious? That's not a normal fault. You should probably send it to the repairers. Or better still, buy a new one. You know this phone has been decades. Excuse me, this phone is very durable and efficient. Besides, it stores very useful information. And I have this nostalgic attachment to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> we have a call. Hello, Fred. Charlie Roy. Sorry, my mother-in-law is around. We have to go through some vital details. Okay. Before the meeting with uh, Mrs. Boatin this morning, that is okay with you. All right. Thank you very much. Fredo! See you. Sorry, ma, but um, I have to take my leave. Okay. Baby, I'll see you. Please throw the phone away. I beg. Come on, <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye. 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 Good morning, sir. I want this on my desk by 5 p.m. Yes, sir. In fact, 4.59. Mr. Swartz in Germany, tell him that he should come after three weeks because I'm totally busy. All right? Yes, sir. Good. Any other additions, sir? I want it on my desk by 5 p.m. No problem, sir. May the new appointment be as sweet as the chocolate in the box. And may our meeting again be even sweeter. Ladies and gentlemen, 
My philosophy of maintaining an iron grip over any sector in this economy is not to outspend or outsmart our competitors, but to quietly and systematically eliminate them. The end game plan of any entrepreneur is to try and attain complete monopoly, or at least the control share of any market. Our industrial chemical subsidiaries own about 45% shares of the market, closely followed by Green Flux Chemical, who controls 30% market shares. And the remaining 25 is being speed around the rest of the smaller companies. My take is very simple. Buy out Green Flux Chemical and control 75% shares of the chemical market in this industry. That is a very ambitious move, madam, if you ask me. An acquisition like this is going to be very, very difficult. Even if it's possible, it's going to be very, very expensive. Not to mention the huge media publicity this takeover will bring to our company. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we saying? Where will that take the company's shares and its revenue to? Oh, if we buy out Green Floss Chemical, the opportunities are endless. One, we will now own their successful brand. Two, we will also own their net marketing network too. And which leave this company in a position of determined pricing in this industry. Mr. Henry Kurati, you will head the acquisition team. Yes, ma'am. And um, you will find out everything about Green Flux Chemical. It's financial state, Insurance report management, everything and anything we need before we make a formal bid for it. Yes, ma'am. And uh, you and your team have 16 weeks to put everything together to complete the acquisition of Green Flux Chemical. Ladies and gentlemen, we all want to have a very good holiday in Vermont, right? Then bring down Green Flux Chemical. I don't care how you do it. Pick your team and let me have the list on my table before the close of work today. This one is your job. Madam, I'll go through the details of the document carefully. But I think um, you should go through our company's brochure. Okay, let me get it. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Oh. Yes? Mr. Henry Cranton wants to see you, ma. Oh, uh, let him in. Thank you. Madam, I'm so sorry, but um, an important meeting just came up. If you don't mind, we can continue this discussion in an hour's time. Okay. And then you have time to go to our company's brochure. Okay. Thank you. Come. Thank you. Oh, come in. How was it? <coughs> Henry, did you get my little congratulatory message? Oh, yes, I did. And uh, the little note attached to it. Did you read it? Yes, yes, thank you very much. You did? Yet. You have not reacted in any way to it. Damn. A courteous text. Courteous. of the members you requested for. Is that why you came to see me? Uh, he, he, yes, so that you can uh, vet and approve them. Well, very well then. You 
can drop it on my table or um, I will attempt to eat in my spare time. And I will go back to you through my secretary. Harry, if you don't mind, I have a very important meeting to attend. So. <coughs> Is that Mr. Fred? Oh, please, can you come to my office now? Thank you. You didn't feel the impact of the note. Hmm? You didn't read it with your heart. to just go to bed, okay? Let's go to bed. Okay. Good night then. seem fallen in distance for like the past two days. Are you all right? A uh, few problems here and there, but it's not that I can handle. Fred, you're my friend. We've been together for so long. I've been there for you, you've been there for me. So if it's anything at all, you can tell me. This is my shoulder, Fred. You can lean on it. I'm here for you, I got your back, okay? All right, now let's go grab lunch. <sighs> It's my favorite place today. And it's on me, eh? Yeah? Today I got cash, you know what I mean? Let's go. by the Stock Exchange Commission for breaking takeover rules? What is this? Apparently, a major shareholder of Green Floors Chemicals does not like the way this takeover is being handled. He has petitioned Stock Exchange Commission. 
they conducted an inquiry. Harry, we have been sanctioned. On what grounds? Inducement. Blackmail and twisting that is improper filing. Harry, the list is endless. Oh my goodness, but uh, blackmail? I'm twisting taxes. What, what, what is this? I don't know. Maybe you can fill in the blank spaces. After all, you are the one handling this takeover. Come on, frankly speaking, I don't know what this is all about, and I don't know where all these allegations are coming from. My good friend, this is ugly. This is very, very ugly. We have a meeting in our West time with the MD. You better have some answers. What do you mean you don't know? Who is in charge of the takeover bid? Me. Who makes all the decisions concerning the takeover? Me. And who signed all the correspondent related documents to the takeover? Me. So how the hell you sit there and tell me you know nothing about it? Well, the stock exchange officials found out about this letter. Duly signed by you. You offer Mr. Donald Jane Fee the sum of 40,000 Ghana cities to endorse the takeover and to convince the majority shareholders to do the same. But I didn't do anything like this. Then whose signature is on the letter? Mine. But I swear to God, I didn't sign any letter like this. It's, 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 I didn't sign it. Then who did? I understand that during takeovers of this nature, a lot is done behind closed doors. But this, this inducement, and blackmail done in open manners. No! I assure you, madam, but I didn't do anything like this, okay? I didn't. Do you know the implication of this? We have lost 500,000 Ghana cities. No refundable fee pay to start the takeover. Secondly, we have been fined the sum of 200,000 Ghana cities for improper conduct. Thirdly, we are at the verge of losing the Green Flux takeover. Fought, which is the most important and painful of everything. The damage this has caused to this company, all due to the reckless way you and your team have handled this deal. Madam, I'm sorry. Not a single word from you again, Mr. Henry Grante. Now, everybody in the takeover team is going to receive a query in which I want answers. An investigation will be carried out and all those found wanting will lose their job definitely. And then, criminal charge instituted against those corporate for causing financial loss to the company. And now, every one of you in the takeover team is hereby suspended indefinitely without pay. Pending the answers to your query and the findings of your investigation. Yes. We know these funny things that happens doing takeovers like this. It's no see, no tell business. Everything is hush hush. Oh boy, reason with me. Did you? Of course not. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Yes, it's my signature on the thing, but I don't know how it got there. How can I go on suspension without leave? How? How will I go? Look, Henry, you should be bothered more about the criminal charges that might be brought against you for causing financial loss. You will become a corporate leper if you are found guilty. No company will employ you. My friend, you are not safe. Consider that letter. No, Nick, no. 
No. Nikki. The house? My mortgage payments? How can I afford this now? How? I'm going on suspension without pay. How can I afford these things? Man. This is getting deeper and deeper every minute. Give me, give me a reason The eyes of a cloud is dark Maybe it's the time of the season But the rain's never falling down It seems like we all on a drift Moving towards our doom Wake me up, I must be asleep I'm choking up, please give me room, oh yeah, you should know you cannot win, you can never, never win, cause you know you're not so clean, evil lies with me, cause I never wanna be, never wanna be. Baby, you barely touched your food. Well, I think I have crumbs or indigestion. I'll be fine. Are you okay, baby? So I'll be fine. Mmm, you still forget. The bank sent us a reminder for the mortgage of this house. I think we go. Did you hear me? Yes, I heard you. Something about it. Love is all that I see. Sir. Sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Alfred. How can I help you? I'm um, sir. I've been ordered not to allow you access into the company's building. This must be a joke. I'm sorry, sir. I'm only following orders from above. Well, I'm getting into my office and packing my things, okay? I'm sorry, sir. You can't do that. Please. I'm going to get in there. Let's see you stop. Sir, I can't let you do that. Please. Alfred. Sir? I'm only following orders from above. Hello, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, sir, you had a call. Hello? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Right away, madam. This is Mr. Cranting. I will handle it from here. Mr. Coranti is very civil. Oh, aren't you, Harry? Harry, I am very, very sorry for my outburst in the meeting. You of all people should understand that it's nothing personal. It's understandable, Ma. You're just doing your job. Oh, please call the Ma thing. I know I overreacted. And it shouldn't be to you the most important person in my life. The one I have prayed all these years to set my eyes on again. Please. Henry, we met. We love each other. We parted ways. And now we have come back again. Should I call it coincidence or fate? 
call it whatever you want to call it, but I don't want to listen to this. Excuse me. I can make all those go away. Yes. The investigation, the suspension, and the possible lawsuit that will be instituted against you and your team. I can make it all disappear. I can assure you, Lovita, I didn't see or sign that letter, okay? Henry, are you saying that you want to remain suspended and that as you continue with the investigation, you will be indicted because all evidence points to you and probably charged to prison? Is that what you're saying? Henry, I love you too much to allow all this happen to you. But I am innocent, okay? I'm innocent! And you can't prove it. If you can, be my guest. Henry, if you lose your job, who is going to take care of your wife? And how are you going to pay your mortgage fees? You will lose your house, your wife, Everything. Everything, Harry. You lose everything. You know about my mortgage fees? Oh. Not. Henry, let me borrow one of your favorite coats. When the heart is willing. It has a thousand ways. I know everything about you, Henry. Everything. The chairman will not hear a word about this. I will take care of it all. The accountants will record it as part of the company yearly loss. I will stop the investigation and you will be reinstated with immediate effect. I will assign some other people to continue with the green flux takeover. How is that? I guess it's at this point that I say thank you very much. <laughs> I think there are better ways of thanking me from saving you from unemployment and prison. Hmm? Don't you think so?
hell are you, Henry? God. This is scary. Is this what I get for saving your skin? To talk about your pious wife in front of me? Navida, I've done what you asked me to do. Now let me just take what is left of my pride as a man and see if I can still face my wife. Well, regardless of what you feel, I enjoy it so much and I intend to continue. Excuse huh? me. Could you carry an unborn child and loving me unconditionally? And I'm busy trampling on our marriage. Oh my God. I, I don't deserve you. Everyone gets out of this kind of mess. Yep. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not when the devil in his cat has anything to say about it. What did he say? No, no, nothing. No, forget about it. Let's, let's go back to the office, okay? Late. Henry, I 
have been calling you for ages. You have neither picked my call nor come to my office to know why I'm calling you. As you can see, I'm occupied with loads of work. What kind of work can be more important to you than attending to me? What? You mean attending to your whims and caprices? <laughs> Sorry, I'll pass this time. For the love I have for you, and for that love, I will pretend I did not hear your last statement. Now, you listen to me. Listen to me. I will be at the hotel this evening. It will be in your best interest not to keep me waiting. My guy, I don't know why you still haven't fixed the phone because you're heavily paid though. You're heavily paid for this job. Sir, I thought it was okay when I finished repairing it, okay? That's why I kept it for two days observation before handing over to you. Mr. Engineer, whatever you call yourself, you don't seem to know the gravity of this problem. When I dial a number, eh, the phone automatically dials the next number in the phone book. Thereby, I'm in some form of three-way conference call automatically. So, I I'm saying something to somebody that I'm not even supposed to be saying. Well, um, I still maintain the microchip and the IC problem. Okay, so you drop the phone, I'll call a few engineer friends of mine just to have a look at it. My, my, micro waiting. The microchip and the IC problem, I still maintain that fault. But they have a chip inside. I know, that's why I say you drop it. You don't understand, I have to take it to the computer village. You know, call a few engineer friends of mine just to have a look at it. Fine, okay. I'll, I'll drop it, I don't have time, but I'll drop it over the weekend. I'll send my peers to bring it, yeah? Okay. Trust me, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Nah, yeah. I'll just go home Surprise! Happy birthday, darling. You thought I forgot. Yeah. Happy birthday, my dear. <laughs> 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 to Harry, may your days be older as this wife. The older, the, the better. <laughs> to open up your present. Well, well, well. <clears throat> I was waiting for us to be alone. Well, you're finally alone so you can open it up. What is it? Look! Mm -hmm. I hope you like it. Beautiful. I want you to have me with you everywhere you go. Or with people. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm. I hope you like it. Mm, I love it. 
Got a cute face. Baby, your phone is ringing. Won't you pick it up? Huh? You have a phone call. Baby, it's past office hours. I don't take any calls after that, huh? <laughs> Baby, this call must be really, really important because the caller looks very persistent. It's my birthday and I'm spending it with my wife. See, I don't care if Goldfield's group of company goes up in flames. What matters to me most is that I want to make sweet love to you. <laughs> okay, why don't we go upstairs Ooh. and finish this? Operations expansion report is ready. We need to meet with the MD to discuss the plans, feasibility studies, projections, and then um, get the approval before we think about any recruitment. Listen, Fred, you're the company general manager. This is the report. You know where our office is. Take it there. Whatever decisions you guys take, I'm fine by it. Okay? Can you imagine? You know you prepared this report yourself. Nobody can present it better than you. Please, please. Nobody, please. Fred. Give me, give me. 
Ich gieße fest. Yes, Janis. The general manager is on line one, ma. Put him through. Yes, Mr. Fred. Well, myself and Mr. Henry Quanti wants to have a meeting with you over the operations expansion report and deliberate on it. I'm so sorry, Mr. Fred. Can we reschedule this meeting till later in the day? I will get back to you through my secretary. Thank you. No problem, ma'am. Okay. Yes? This is Cynthia on the line. Yes, Cynthia. The managing director had to go out for an urgent meeting. She said you and Mr. Ochredakun should meet her at home later in the evening for the meeting. Okay, thanks. You are Mr. Rukrati, I suppose? Yes. Please come. Hi, madam. Well, I must say you're looking smashing and ravishing. Are you going anywhere important this evening? Thanks. And no. Harry, this is the first time you're visiting me at home. So, for me, no visitor is more important. Please sit. <clears throat> Would you like something cold? Or hot? No, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, madam. I'm, I'm cool. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. How is your wife, Henry? She's fine. She's splendid. I hope you don't discuss office problem with her. I don't, I don't bother her with my office problems. No. That's that's good. Well, um, since the general manager is not here, I suggest we have to proceed without him. I understand that this report and proposal was initiated by your office. So, you're the best person to make the presentation, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Navida. Okay. Well, if, if you go through the file, you realize that um, based on the results we are getting from our field distributors, we have to increase our production by 30% so that we'll be able to meet the demand of our... If you look at the graph here, okay, you realize that at the time when we injected a... Oh, go on. <coughs> well, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to increase our manpower by 30%, okay? What we mean is that we're going to computerize most of our operations, you know, thereby, as a matter of fact, decreasing our, you know, <laughs> Do 
what you have to do. You know I will always support it. Hmm? No, 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 no. I say, baby, we can't really go ahead with the proposal unless you, you sign it, okay? <clears throat> so you have to sign it before <clears throat> the proposal can be accepted. I'm just thinking about you. I was just thinking about you too. Longing to hear your sweet voice, so I decided to call you. Do you remember we've been invited to a send-off party for His Excellency the Ambassador of Russia? Uh, honey, please, uh, my apology to the Ambassador. Okay. I guess you have been tired. Thank you. Love you. Hey, my dear, I love you. Bye. Bye. To the word. I'm not doing anything new. It's just what I crave for. What? the most important person in my life. I've lost you, babe. I cannot betray my wife. Okay? I can't! No! No! Listen to me. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Okay? Listen to me. I'm not asking you to break up your marriage because of this. I just want us to have a quiet relationship. One that will be a benefit to us both. Well, I don't want any relationship and I don't want any benefits! Fine. But you can't leave me alone like this. You can't! to a director in a board of directors. Not because you really deserve it anyways. Just think about it. Think about it, Henry. With me as the head, I can take you to any height you want in this company. I have it all. I have it all! Leave! I will not succumb to your demands because you have it all. I am not your puppet! How dare you! I asked you to marry me five years ago and you refused. Now you want to sleep with me? Huh? You want to sleep with me the same way you sleep with Mr. Mr. Barton for his millions? What are you talking about? Are you calling me a gold digger? Huh? A two-time opportunist? Is that what you're saying? Hey, but I love you. <laughs> ah! Honey, you 
You've been late for this get-together. The least you can do is render an apology for coming late. Also, I've been trying to call your phone and it's off. Why? I don't know. My phone has just been off. Don't you always fight about this? Please, no more of that. <laughs> Thank you. You're not welcome. Come with you, girls. You look startled. You okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Because you look like you have a lot of things on your mind. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Honey, you look a little bit nervy. No, I'm fine. Are you sure you're fine? I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. That's your resignation letter. Sign and resign immediately from this company. Effective today. Re resignation letter? F -f For what? You have the temerity of standing there asking me the reason why you should be resigning from my company? No, sir, you're asking me to resign, so of course I have to ask you why. All right. Okay. I will tell you. I will tell you. For daring an attempt to rape my wife, my own wife. Have you been answered? Me? Rape? Now you better sign that letter and get out of this office. Now! Say, it's obvious this is a blatant lie. Lavida, what, what is this? What are you trying to do? How dare you talk to my wife in that manner? How dare you? Now, let me tell you. If not for soiling the reputation of my company, I would have shot you instantly for laying that filthy hands on the wife. So, you better sign that letter. Sign that letter whilst I still have my senses intact. Your BP, please. Can't you hear the word coming out of that thing that he calls a mouth? I know. Baby, please. For my sake, 
Okay. Now you out. Out of this place. Let's go. to have that expansion meeting and you couldn't make it now her personal assistant called to tell me that she shifted the meeting to her house so now when i got to her house she tried to sexually harass me huh? from him i she tried to sexually harass me and when i tell her advances she's now telling me i should resign how can i resign how look harry I sympathize with you, but looking at the issues here, it's big. It's very, very big. What, Fred, what are you saying in essence? That I should resign because the chairman is telling me to resign? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you should resign. Far from it, all I'm saying is that maybe things went out of control. But, you see, you can... Go back to chairman to apologize. Sir, I think I totally agree with GM. A simple apology will cost you nothing. Look, it will kill you. Just apologize and save issues. Sir, you know, being right or wrong is not the most important issue right now. The most important issue right now is for you guys to try and settle this dust as quick as possible. That is the way I say it. At the expense of my reputation? Of admitting guilt for doing nothing wrong? At what price? Harry, sexual harassment happens in our daily lives, in our social and professional lives, and society really frowns at it. You know, your case happens to be a very interesting one, I guess in the history of the judiciary, but hey, and it's going to be very difficult, very, very difficult to navigate. So what are you saying, that I have a case or I don't have a case? Absolutely not. Here's my take. Sexual harassment is a man issue. All right? Man harassing a woman. But your case happens to be a vice versa. The chances of winning such a case is definitely slim. Possibly not at all. Are you trying to tell me that I'm going to sit down whilst Mrs. Lavida Bwati just ruins me? This is my advice to you. Resign honorably and live quietly. If you want us to fight this in court, yes, we can. But are you ready? to stand the heat it will generate. Think about the press. They're going to raise all the sentiments, if you like. Think about the women organizations that are backed by the entire nation to really tear your reputation apart. Your company is going to support your MD to roast you in court. Honestly, is Nikki prepared for all this? No, she's not aware. I mean, I, I just don't want to bother her with such stories. You know, the pregnancy is in the advanced stages and <clears throat> she'll be just agitated. I want you to find something tangible. Say something logical to Nikki, alright? And get her out of the scene. And sell your building. And relocate. Start all afresh. Okay? This is my kindest advice to you.
Honey, Alicia was washing your suits and she found this in your pocket. And I want to know something. Are you resigning? Yes. Why? I am being accused of raping Mrs. Luffy de Boating. And the chairman wants me to resign. So you mean all this has been happening and you didn't utter a word to me? What would I have said? Huh? Nobody would have believed me. Not even Fred. And as if that was enough, I approached your, your, your ex boss, Philip. His advice was plain and simple. Resign honorably whilst everything is still quiet. I mean, he said it's hard to convince anybody that the woman tried to sexually harass me. How do you want me to tell you this? How am I supposed to convince you? Because I am your wife! We share one heart and one soul. Because it is my God's given duty to know and understand my husband and support him through all times, good or bad. So you see, you didn't need to convince me because I already know you, Henry. Oh, Nikki. No. 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 You are not going to resign because that is what they want they want you to just crawl into one little hole so that it will make it look as if you're guilty that way you wouldn't be able to defend yourself but you know what you're going to fight this case and defend your name and your reputation for me and our unborn child No, sir. This is his assistant. Oh, is he around? I'd like to talk to him. Of course, sir. Uh, Mr. Henry Grant's on the line. Hi, Henry. Uh, Philip, I've decided to go ahead with the case. What? After all the advice I gave you? I'm sorry, Philip, but I'm going ahead with the case. My wife is fully aware of it now. She's in support of my decision. All right. If that's what you want, uh, let's go right ahead. I'll file the case with the High Court and send them a copy immediately. I mean, send them notice immediately. Okay. But one more thing. I want you to report for work and discharge your duties as usual. And don't give them any cause for them to ask you to resign. You understand? Yes. All right. So you take care. I'll call you soon. All right? All right. Take care. Good morning. Janice. Yes, sir. Tell Mr. Edmund I need a report on my desk immediately. I'll do just that, sir. Immediately. Against my wife. 
But because I wanted us to go down quietly, I asked you to resign from my company. I said that is the truth. Shut up! This is absolutely incredible. So you sued me and my wife, thinking that uh, uh, it would make me rescind my decision of asking you to resign from my company? You have made the worst move uh, of your miserable life. I will crush you and everything that you represent. And after that, I will sue you in court for attempting rape on my wife. By the time I'm through with you, you will feel so much pain. So much pain that pain itself will lose its bearings. Watch me do it. Mr. Pranti, you have accused a woman of harassing you sexually. And this woman happens to be my client, Mrs. Lavida <clears throat> Boating. Is that so? On the 15th day of April. Good. If I should refresh my memory a little bit, a few weeks prior to that, precisely the 13th of January, uh, that was the 10th anniversary celebration of your company, Yes. Can you tell this honorable court what happened on that fateful day? Well, on that day, um, the services of the staff in the company were to be rewarded. Now, a section of us were to be promoted and another section were to receive increments in salaries. And also, Mrs. Lavina Boating was supposed to make a very major announcement concerning promotions. Good. Were you expecting promotion too? Of course, yes. I was expected to be promoted to the position of general manager of the group. Good. And uh, did you get that promotion? No, uh, I didn't. What I actually got was a position uh, higher than the general manager. I was made a director on the board of the group. How interesting. You were expecting only a piece of the cake, but you did not only get a piece of the cake, but you have the whole cake entrusted into your hands. Do you have any idea why Mrs. Boating became so generous to give you such a very high promotion? Well, I don't know. Maybe she was impressed with my work weight and uh, commitment to the group. You are a pathological liar! I'm testing your honor. Counsel should refrain from using such, 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 such language, I mean, such words. Objection sustained. Counsel, mind the use of your words. Sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Granting, I had said earlier that you were lying because you had told your friends at the party that you had gotten your promotion as a result of your charms, your looks, and your personality. Is that not so? No, it was a harmless banter between men. Did you or did you not utter those words? Yes, I did. <laughs> Your Honor, a very important point to note. What other thing did you discuss about Mrs. Lavida Boati? I, I, I really can't remember. Oh. Let me refresh your memory. You said uh, she was looking sexy. She has sexy eyes and uh, she was sexy personified. I don't know. It was actually my colleague who said that. And what did you say? I... Oh, Your Honor, Mr. Kuranting is tongue-tied. He is completely tongue-tied. And then what happened? And then the dancing was opened and, you know, everybody started dancing. So during the dance, did anything significant happen? I went to the dance floor with my wife Nikki. Did anything significant happen during the dance? Yes, we actually exchanged dancing partners as the dance proceeded. Like wives agreeing to change and dance with other people's husbands and partners at a party? Something like that. Something like that or a case? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is battling the witness. Objection overruled. 
the witness should answer the question. Yes, it is. So, in this change your partner thing, was Mrs. Lavida Boating at any point in time your dancing partner? Yes. <laughs> but look, this woman you fantasized about all this while is now within arm's reach and uh, you are dancing with her, caressing her and living on uh, cloud nine? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is making baseless assumptions without facts. Objection sustained. Counsel, I will not warn you again. Stick to the case and ask appropriate question. Very well, Your Honor. So, Mr. Granting, so during the weeks after, were there any contacts at all between you and Mrs. Lavida Boating? Contact in what context, sir? As in holding meetings, discussions, spending a lot of time together? Of course, she's my boss. We have meetings concerning diverse issue, issues about the company and um, <clears throat> Other staff are in attendance as well. And all this while, she did not make any moves on you? No, sir. Are you sure about that? All those weeks? No, sir. You're very sure? Because, Mr. Granting, you are under oath. We are waiting for your answer. I'm sure, sir. So, um, on that 13th April, was it 13th April? On the 15th of April. Oh, that's right, that's right, you're right, you're right. On the 15th of April, what happened? Mr. Ochidak, which who is the general manager, and I was supposed to have a meeting with her concerning the operation expansion proposal, and she actually told her to tell us that she has changed the date and she would come back to us with a new date concerning the meeting. Okay, so it means uh, the meeting was rescheduled for another date? But yes, her PA came back to tell us that she's shifted the date or she's actually changed the date to an evening one. And uh, didn't you find anything strange about that? Meeting a woman, a married woman at that, in her house. At such a time of the day, no, no, at that time of the night? The reason for the meeting was very, very important. And besides, the general manager was supposed to be in attendance. Oh, is that to say that the general manager did not attend this meeting after all? No. So, opportunity presented on a silver platter. What else can you ask for? So, what happened next? When I got to the house, the main gate was open and I entered. Actually, the maid ushered me in to sit down and wait for Mrs. Lavita Bati. And then? And Mrs. Lavita Bati came and... Um, and and uh, what did you say or do at this point in time? I didn't do anything. She came and the meeting started. You're lying again. Because I'll tell you exactly what you said. Well, I must say you're looking smashing and smashing. Ravishing. Are you going anywhere important this evening? You said she was looking smashing and uh, lavishing and ravishing or something like that. What, what, what exactly do you say? I didn't put it as coyly and sarcastic as you're saying it now. Were those words uttered and I have told you to leave the interpretation to the court and me? Yes, I did. Ah. Your Honor, point to be noted. You make such compliments about somebody else's wife. Somebody you have been fantasizing about to your friends. And now, what happened next? And then I started making the presentation of the proposal and Mrs. Lavida Bwati came to sit by my side. Oh. She actually came to sit on the edge of this. The... To sit on the side of the chair you were sitting on? Yes, it was at this point that she had a call from her husband and I wasn't comfortable with what was going on so I, I, I got up and stood by the window. And then she, she, and then she came to grab me from the back. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm sure at this time you felt dishonored and abused and uh, you must have done something, uh, pushed Mrs. Lavida Boating back to her seat. You did something at least uh, to put the situation under control. <laughs> at least you are the man, you are, you are the man. No, no, I, no, no. I, I was shocked. I completely confused. I didn't know what was going on. She, 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 
She was just kissing me all over. <laughs> so, you just stood there like a statue and uh, being kissed and caressed just like that? I said I was shocked and confused to do anything. Mm. Then what happened? Then she pulled me down, fell on top of me and started kissing and caressing me and, you know, kissing me all over my body and... Hold it, hold it, slow down. I'm a little confused. You mean a little feeble woman like uh, La Vida could push down uh, a hunk like you? You with all this muscle and uh, you were uh, on top of her and she was caressing you and uh, and all that and uh, I wonder who was uh, being raped here. <laughs> and you said you were on top of her, right? Yes. I'm sorry, Honor. I'm very, very slow in this intake. How can the one on top be the one who is being sexually harassed? But, uh, well, of course. Uh, um, so, what did you do while all these were going on? Like I said, I was very confused. And I didn't know what was happening. And at a point in time, I lost control. You lost control, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Kuranting lost control. A very important point to be noted. He lost control. And so, what happened next? As she tugged my shirt, the, the chain in which contained the locket in which had my wife's picture fell down. And that was when I realized what was going on. And I realized everything was not right. So I, I got up and started walking towards the door. But for the fact that your wife's picture fell off that locket, <laughs> only God knows what you would have um, done. <laughs> right? Objection, Your Honor. Sorry, my learned friend. <laughs> that should not be necessary. Let's that thank God that your conscience uh, worked via the picture of your wife falling off that locket. But um, this is looking more like a story in the movie. What happened next, Mr. Granting? Tell us. She followed me screaming hysterically, telling me that I should sleep with her. But I refused and I left. Oh. So the natural thing to have done was to report to Mr. Boating about his wife's unbecoming behavior and put her to order. I guess that was what you did, is that right? In as much as I didn't like Mrs. Lavida Boating's behavior, I couldn't report to Mr. Boating because I didn't want it to affect their young marriage. How catchy. <laughs> But I guess you have thrown all that compassion through the window because it is you who is in court. And it is you who has accused my client of sexually harassing you, is that not so? I only brought it to this level because Mrs. Labida bought a lied. She lied to her husband that I tried to rape her and her husband in turn made me resign from the company and all I wanted was justice. You lied! I put it to you, Mr. Kranti, that you are guilty of the crime you committed and you have decided to strike before you are struck and that is why you are in court. No! Objection, Your Honor. And I put it to you again that you wanted to rape Mrs. Lavida Boating because from all the evidences you have given, it is so clear that you have been fantasizing over her. Objection! And when you got the opportunity to have her alone with you, that sexual edge in men called lust ran over you and he died over her. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is making baseless and unfounded assumptions against my parents. Objection sustained. Hansel, this is the last time I'm going to be warning you to refrain from this unethical act you are spitting since this case began. One more of such antiques and I'll hold you to contempt of this court. I'm sorry, Honor. I'm very sorry. I have no further question for this witness. This court will go on 30 minutes recess. Barrister. Yes, sir. I'm very impressed the way the case is going. Chicken feet. Piece of cake, sir. As soon as I smell blood, I go in for it. Before they can think of any adjournment, I would have destroyed every credibility they would have liked to follow. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Honestly. It was a total disaster. I goofed. I, I goofed big time. Honestly, the man practically shredded you into pieces. Did warn you. 
I want you to answer yes or no. No details. You know these defense attorneys can really turn Satan into saints. Honestly. That's okay, that's okay. Look, Nikki has taken so much in. Emotionally, she's so unstable. All right. Let her be. Okay. Let's go. Your name suggests to me that you are a married woman, is that right? Yes. Good. Tell this court how Mr. Corantin greets you when he enters the office. Your Honor, he normally hits me on the backside with whatever he was holding, be it a newspaper, a magazine, or whatever he was holding. That is interesting. By the mention of backside, <laughs> uh, would you by any chance be talking about your buttocks? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel should mind his choice of words. Your Honor, I am only seeking clarification here to be sure that everybody here is thinking on the same wavelength. That's all. Objection overruled. The witness should answer the question. Yes. Your Honor, Mr. Cronin goes about hitting someone else's wife's buttocks with whatever is in his hands. Your Honor, someone else's wife's buttocks! <laughs> anyway, let's leave it at that. Um, Janice, how does Mr. Corantin greet men in the office? Your Honor, he shakes hands with them. Your oh. Honor, Mr. Corantin shakes men and he goes about hitting someone else's wife's buttocks! Constantly, every now and then, on the buttocks. Your Honor, I have no further question for this witness. Mrs. Lavida Boat, in view of the testimony given by my client, Henry Corantin, he was expecting to be promoted as a general manager. But you took a decision and you appointed him as a director into the board of directors. So what informed your decision? I was impressed with his work, dedication to duty, and loyalty. Incise and precise answer. From what I understand, you came to the company for the first time on the 13th January, on the anniversary day. And you took a decision on the spot. One would like to know what and where you heard of Mr. Henry Corantin's record for you to take such a decision. I have conferred with my husband about him. What time? Was it before, during, or after the anniversary? The same time, during the announcement of the promotion. And how long was that consultation? How long did it take? 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, Mrs. Boateng, your husband was able to furnish you with all the necessary information about Mr. Henry Corantin's activities, and you were so much impressed. So you removed him from general manager into a position as a director. Your Honor, point to be noted. Mrs. Boateng, do you recall the events that took place on the 15th April? We were supposed to have a meeting on the proposed expansion of the company's operation. A meeting with who? Myself, Mr. Fred Ochidako, and Mr. Henry Corante. But I was too busy, so I rescheduled the meeting for later in the evening in my house, in which the GM did not show up due to other official engagement. And what happened after that? When Mr. Henry Corante came, we discussed about the operation expansion. At that point, I got a call from my husband. So, we were talking on the phone. Suddenly, Mr. Henry Corante grabbed me from behind. I see. He grabbed you from behind. I want to believe that you screamed as well. Yes, I did. And I'm sure your husband also heard you screaming. No. But you just said you were talking when he grabbed you from behind. But the cord had terminated before he grabbed me. What happened? He started kissing me 
and his hand all over my body. His hand was rubbing all over your body. So who was on who? Was it Objection, my lord! Mr. Kuranti has already told us in his testimony that he was lying on top of her. So I don't see where this line of questioning is going. Your Honor, Mrs. Boatin sends all her servants on compulsory leave before a very important meeting involving a male director of the company. And then she goes to dress up so seductively to entice him. What was she trying to say? What was she? I mean, what was she trying to put across? Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Granted, here I am. You can have me. Your Honor, no further question. Your Honor, that a woman decides to give her servants a holiday and decides to wear something that she feels very comfortable in does not give Randy men the opportunity and the audacity to pick up their claws and wear them, pick up these women and tear them apart. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel should stop using such words on my client when nothing has been proven. You want proof? I shall provide you with ample proof. I wish to call to the witness stand, Mr. Quarantin. Mr. Quarantin. Hmm? Please take off your shirt. Objection, Your Honor. This is a gross infringement on my client's right. And indeed, an insult to his personality. Well, Your Honor. But he also degraded my client's name by dragging her to court based on this embarrassing and degrading allegation. He must suffer the same kind of treatment. Objection overruled. The witness should do as he's told. Remove your shirt. Take off your singlet. There, Your Honor. There it is. These marks. Mr. Kuranting's behavior around women and his own testimony here in this court proves that he tried to rape my client, Mrs. Boating. Your Honor, this court wanted proof and I have provided it. And I request now that my client be acquitted and discharged immediately and this case be struck out of this court. I have no further questions for this witness. After listening to arguments of both counsels and testimonies of several witnesses, I hereby adjourn this case till the 15th of July for counsel's closing remarks and my final judgment. Away from me. How could you have done that? But you see, I, I didn't think that. You, you don't think what? You don't think what? You kept the fact. And the lawyer used this same, this same facts against you. You want to know what I think? We are finished. We've lost the case, Henry. We are done. I'm sorry. Mr. Grant, tell me what do you think your chances are for defusing me? Oh. Yeah.